World of Dentistry Dental Solutions for Your Dental Needs Tooth Luxation Hello everyone! Today, we will talk about a very important topic in oral health, dental luxation. If you've ever had something hit your teeth, you may have been diagnosed with a dislocated tooth. In this video, we will explain everything you need to know about this condition. First of all, just what is dental luxation? The teeth are supported in the gums by two structures called the alveolar bone and the periodontal ligament, which together are called dental supporting tissues. Dental luxation is damage to these tooth supporting tissues, generally associated with a trauma, fall, or blow. In many cases, it can also affect the dental nerve. The most common signs and symptoms of dislocated teeth include changes in the position of the affected teeth, bleeding gums, increased sensitivity when consuming hot or cold drinks or food, pain when chewing or touching the tooth, tooth mobility, and a change of color in the affected tooth. The teeth that most frequently suffer dental luxation are the upper central incisors, that is, the front teeth, since they are more exposed to the external environment. Tooth dislocation occurs from trauma, such as falls, blows, violent assaults, car accidents, and contact sports. That is why athletes are recommended to use dental protectors to avoid this type of injury. Although dislocated teeth can affect anyone, children are more prone to injury when they are learning to walk and bump into the objects around them. Also, when a child sustains a hit on their primary teeth, the root of that tooth is likely to touch and affect teeth forming on the inside, which can cause serious damage. Treatment of Tooth Dislocation Treatment for dislocated teeth depends on the severity of the injury and may include conservative measures or surgical interventions. In mild cases, treatment may consist of observation and follow-up by the dentist to verify that the tooth is returning to its normal position and the gums and supporting tissues are healing properly. In more serious cases, it may be necessary to perform a reduction, which consists of returning the tooth to its original position. This maneuver must be carried out by an experienced dentist, since if done incorrectly, it can cause further damage to the supporting tissues or even the loss of the tooth. In some cases of dislocated teeth, it may be necessary to perform a root canal to treat a possible injury to the dental nerve. In cases of intrusive luxation, the tooth may require surgery to be lifted and returned to its normal position. If the tooth cannot be saved, it may need to be extracted and dental replacement options will be considered. Prevention of Tooth Dislocation To prevent dental luxation, it is vital to take safety measures when doing physical activities or contact sports, such as using adequate mouth guards to prevent trauma to the teeth. In addition, it is important to maintain good oral hygiene to prevent dental caries and periodontal disease, which can weaken tooth supporting tissues and increase the risk of dislocation. It is also important to have regular dental checkups to detect any dental problems early and prevent more serious complications. In the case of children, it is important to teach them from an early age the importance of good oral hygiene and encourage the use of mouth guards in sports and physical activities. Finally, there are different types of dental dislocation, depending upon the severity of the trauma. These include concussion, subluxation, and intrusive dislocation. It is important to have an x-ray done to determine the level of damage. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.